Gladys with the events calendar. Today, I'd like to show you how to set up your webhooks for Stripe and Tickets Commerce. To get started, the first thing I'm going to do is go to my WordPress dashboard, and I want to double check and make sure that test mode is deactivated for Tickets Commerce. Now I can see up at the top right corner, it's currently active. So to disable that, I'm going to navigate to my tickets, then settings, then click the payments tab up top. We're going to uncheck enable test mode, then click save changes. If test mode is still active when you're trying to validate your webhooks, it will not work. From here, we're going to click into edit Stripe connection and we need to retrieve our webhooks URL, which is located at the bottom of this page. Just click this icon then copy the webhooks URL. Then we can go back into our Stripe account. We're going to head to the developers tab, which is at the top right. From there, click the webhooks link on the left and in the center, click add an endpoint. Here we can paste in our webhooks URL. You can add a description if you like, but you don't have to worry. Then we're going to select events to listen to by clicking this button. Now these events are shown in our knowledge base article right here. These 11 events at minimum need to be added. So we'll go back in. I'm going to open up my account tab here. I'm going to check account updated. Then I'm going to go to charge, open up that section here. I'm going to click on expired, failed, refunded, and succeeded. Then I'll navigate down to payment intent, open that up, and we're going to select canceled, created, failed, processing, requires action, and succeeded. Then we'll just click add events and make sure that you have all of these. Just double check with your knowledge base article and click the add endpoint button at the bottom. Now this has generated a new signing secret. And for us to grab the signing secret, we just click this reveal button right here. And then we can highlight, copy the signing secret. And then we'll head back into our WordPress dashboard and we'll paste the signing secret into this field and click save changes to initiate the validation process. This may take a few moments, but just give it a couple seconds. And there you go. Green check mark means that everything is validated properly. If you don't see that this green check mark is showing, I would double check if you have any sort of caching plugins or security plugins. These typically cause problems when trying to communicate with Stripe and can cause validation to not function. If you have any other trouble, you can always contact our support for additional help. Thank you.